hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn numbers the data types we have seen previous lecture is string and now you are going to learning about numbers it's nothing but integer data types so let's see very quickly i'm taking like uh, num1 as my variable num1 or num2 whatever it you may take it okay so the number is not require any single or double quotes around that so very simply i am taking as an uh, 32 is my number so let's see this num1 if i given here so this data type if i given here directly save it and this is you know already if you don't know like uh, let go with the previous lecture you check it i have written all the things save it reload wow 32 we are able to getting so the number without having any decimal point and uh, percentage of four dots you will get very clearly this uh, information in output perfectly so here you are observing now let's see if a number is assigned like uh, let num2 equal to around 20.50 this is called decimal this is called decimals the decimals which is assigned here and uh, this one is number all right also most of the programming languages will call it as integer data type integer data type so how simple it is so let's see why these are the important why these are very much important in like uh, learning data types in the numbers so let's see i would say like uh, num1 num2 if i applied like we may call it as like uh, arithmetic operators once we are applying let's see num1 uh, like uh, where is the plus symbol yes num2 if i've written in this way all right num1 and num2 let's save the reload 52.50 so that arithmetic operator is applying directly there is a nothing we require so arithmetic operator we we just write down here and we'll get in a solution over there in the browser save the code and reload the page you are getting so awesomely we are getting see uh, if we are not segregated number as an uh, integer without surrounding text or double quotes uh, let's see what happens i may put it is uh, like a 20 uh, 22 let's check what happens and i'm using like uh, i have uh, converted these data types into strings all right and i'm making arithmetic operator what happened let's see save it and reload can anyone will expect the answer it may be 44 or something else i'm sorry 42 or something else let's check reload the page 2022 wow what happening here the beauty of programming will identify if we are not identify compiler like javascript compiler will knows that what happening here so let's see if i am removing why it is coming means if we are putting strings around the numbers it will be treated as string variable string data item which is assigned to this particular variable so very clearly understood wherever we are applying with the arithmetic operators we need to follow to make sure to put as a number without surrounding either number or decimal point values we need to put something like a 20.50 yeah 2.50 so let's save it now it is making arithmetic operation is functional successfully so numbers are written with or without decimal point whenever you need to write without double quote or single quotes okay now the same here you may apply like a subtraction yes you may put minus save reload 17 if you want a division yes division you can put 8 only if you want like multiplication 
put the symbol as multiplication save it run it 50 how easy how easy these are the things division also like a divided by percentile yes you may put the percentile symbol zero something more is required no to get in a percentage yeah the same way what you need to do save it and reload the page wherever you want to do like uh, some functionality in the coding and output you need to save the code file first then you need to run the output you will get a clear accurate output so i hope you enjoyed a lot with this lecture we'll catch you in the next lecture thank you Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, we are going to learn JavaScript booleans. Booleans is nothing but very simply like a decision making either true or false values you will get in output. So let's see how it is possible to check with the booleans. So let's see very quickly. I'll take like a number one, number two, uh, something like uh, where is two number I'll take and uh, here also two i'll take and uh, one more variable i'll take it as uh, something like a number three that is something uh, seven or eight save it now let's see very simply how i am implementing boolean over here so removing this removing this um, like uh, let's simply say um, what i need to write here yeah within parenthesis x like a number one num one equal to equal to oh, num two yeah is it true or false let's see save it run it wow it is true see the output you are able to see here this is the output means it's a true why it is the num one equal to equal to num two yeah let's see now how it is possible very simple why this number we have a given value is 2 number 2 only and the similarly while well, like number 2 like uh, num2 variable value is also 2 so both are 2 if both are 2 means ultimately the logical expression is true so we are getting it's a both are equal so it is a we are getting it's a true so let's see and uh, if uh, num2 equal to equal to num3 what happens we'll see now so we need to get along with this uh, for that we need to make it as in a concatenation to prepare a concatenation plus plus inside double quotes here i'm writing some break line so after plus i need to implement this method is num2 equal to equal to num3 can anyone guess it whether it is true or false can anyone guess it whether it is true or false this is true i have tell you i have clearly explained you so what about this is the number is 2 is equal to equal to number 8 which is the number 3 is in a variable these the numbers are going to be assigning to these variables these variables we are comparing so this variable we are comparing means it's nothing but this values we are comparing so let's see if i run this uh, reload so first one is true this statement and the second one this statement is not true so it is false very clearly it is saying so how beauty it is so the same way you need to learn many things the boolean expression is as simple as easy to learn the things all right anything it may be string comparison it may be boolean value and comparison or it may be uh, like a true false comparisons anything you may compare with the boolean expressions you will get true false values okay so we'll catch you in the next lecture with Aris. thank you